you've never heard of the evil Russian, Pavel Satsulin, you need to go look him up because he's a legend in our field of strength and conditioning, flexibility and mobility. So this video is an homage to Pavel Satsulin and it's three flexibility sins that will put you on his naughty list. So what are those things? A couple things that I learned from him are when you're stretching to actually use your strength. So what do I mean by that? A lot of people when they go into a stretch, like say a forward fold in yoga, they just kind of hang out here passively breathing and relaxing and usually they're more like here. He says use your strength and what that means is if you're stretching your hamstrings, use the strength of your antagonistic muscles, your quads and hip flexors to pull you deeper into the stretch. So I'm not reaching with my upper body, I'm using my hip flexors to pull me deeper into the stretch. So that applies to everything from squatting to the splits to everything. So instead of just passively squatting, again, use your hip flexor muscles to pull you deeper into the, into the squat. Or if you're doing, let's say, the pancake splits, don't just kind of hang out passively hoping that you're just gonna relax into it. Use these kind of front hip muscles to pull you deeper into the pancake splits. It goes for almost any stretch, any position. So that's the first thing, is don't not use your strength, use your strength. The next thing to do is to use hard contractions and big relaxations. So again, just kind of like going into a splits-like position and just kind of hoping that one day you'll just be able to relax all the way into the splits, it's not gonna happen. You have to get your brain involved and you have to turn on your muscles and then whew, relax more, turn them on so I'm contracting everything and then whew, relax more and more. So use big contractions and big relaxations. So, so it's like a light switch, it's either completely on or completely off. So you're here and you're firing everything, maximal contractions and then like a light switch, completely shut off and relax. And then the last thing is do the hard exercises like the splits. If you only ever do the easy exercises like you're here and you're just kind of stretching your hamstrings and you're hoping that they'll get so flexible one day you'll get into the splits, Pavel's going to tell you, nope, not going to happen. You need to do the stretches that are intense and kind of freak your body out. Like getting into a deep splits position is kind of a threat to your nervous system, but the only way you're going to get there is by doing the hardest thing, the harder thing, which is the splits. So, you know, don't just lay on your back stretching your hamstrings. Force yourself to spend time in a splits position, even if it's so intense for you in the beginning. Remember when I first started, I was probably up here and it felt like my hamstrings were going to rip off. Slowly over time, as you build big tension and release, build big tension, release, build big tension, release, you'll get deeper and deeper into your splits and Pavel will be very, very happy. So don't get on his naughty list. Go look him up. He's awesome and enjoy. Yeah.